There once was a princess who lived in a breathtaking castle with a wonderful view over the rural landscape of Switzerland. One day she wandered along the lake. Okay, she looked a bit like a football player and was not that pretty, but she was very likable and stunning nevertheless. And she played Pokemon Go outside there at the waters. When she was playing with her phone, she dropped it into the water and she wasn't able to reach it. However, there was a lonely but clever and fascinating frog living in the deep waters. The frog, he looked a bit weird, more like a monster, helped her, dived into the water and fished out her mobile phone for her. She was really grateful and cried, thanks so much. Then they chatted some more and they liked each other at once. A divine spark of love was created immediately. The frog asked if they could perhaps meet up again and she said yes, but maybe only on Zoom or Teams or Skype because of the virus and they should be careful and socially distance themselves for the time being. Later that week, they met several times on Zoom. The connection was poor and in addition to that, the sound varied from time to time. Nevertheless, they conversed again the following week. But it was just not enough. Seeing each other in person would be much nicer, the frog thought to himself. So one night, the frog secretly stacked a pile of toilet rolls in front of the castle, for he had stocked up much toilet paper and dangerously climbed up to the dark room of the princess. When entering, the princess was sleeping, but she soon woke up, startled at the noise he had made weaseling into the room through the old, half-open, rectangular window. No sooner had she realized that it was her frog than she came closer for inspection and, in the spur of the moment and in the darkness, kissed him on the lips. And would you believe what happened next? As she gave the frog a peck and gave him a hug, she herself turned into a frog, or a monster, herself. And she exclaimed, Oh my, this is just like in the movie Shrek! The next day, they came out to the king and queen as frogs and lovers. The parents didn't mind at all and they all celebrated the new couple with a cheesecake and lived happily ever after. Apart from the fact that the frog had spread the then well-known virus to the complete royal family and they all had to stay inside for another four weeks. Never-ending story.